Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna be making these delicious Instant Pot Sloppy Joes using ground turkey. These are a go-to recipe in my house. They're ready in under 30 minutes and my kids and I love them for a weeknight family dinner. All right, let's get started. We're gonna start off with about one pound of ground turkey. You could of course substitute ground beef or ground pork. Totally up to you, it'll work with any of them. And then we're gonna take our ground turkey and add that in to the bowl of our Instant Pot and we're gonna saute on high for about five minutes just until the turkey is cooked and no pink remains. I also added a little bit of butter in there just to help it cook and not stick. Once it is cooked through, we're gonna just remove it from the Instant Pot and there really isn't much moisture but you can drain it. Next, we're gonna just take half of a white or yellow onion, chop it in half and dice it into fine pieces doesn't have to be perfect. And then add that into the bowl of our Instant Pot. And next we're gonna take a small green pepper. This is a pretty large one, so I only wound up using about half of this, but uh, a small one works better. And then we're gonna just remove the ribs, seeds, slice, and chop into fine pieces. You could have, of course, used the whole green pepper if your family really likes that flavor, but I mean, family prefers when I just use half. And we're gonna add that in with the onion, the remaining butter. As you can see, there's like a finger dab out of there that I use for the ground turkey. And saute for about three to five minutes just until everything is soft and cooked through. And once your veggies are done cooking, we're going to add the rest of the ingredients back into the Instant Pot. And there goes your cooked ground turkey. Next, we have some spices. We have chili powder, paprika, salt, pepper, and a little brown sugar. This is my favorite flavor combination, but you could add some cayenne if you want some heat. It's up to you. Next, we have some Worcestershire sauce, and we have about three-fourths of a teaspoon to one teaspoon. Again, kind of up to your flavor profile preference. Next, we just have about two tablespoons of tomato paste. Pretty simple and add that in with the remaining ingredients in our Instant Pot. Next, we have some chili sauce, about two thirds of a cup. And this is the chili sauce you find like in the condiment aisle, like it's kind of like burger sauce. It's basically ketchup, just a little spicier. It's not like Thai chili sauce, so don't get that mixed up. And finally, we just have uh, two cloves of minced garlic. You could add this in with the veggies as well for a little bit of flavor or just add it in then. Next, we have two teaspoons of honey mustard. Dijon mustard will work or yellow mustard. Honey mustard is just my favorite, so that's usually what I go with. And once all of your ingredients are in the Instant Pot, we're gonna give everything a nice stir until everything is well distributed and the turkey is fully coated in the sauces. Once everything is stirred, we're gonna add about a third cup of water. Super important that you add the water in. Uh, you don't want the uh, sloppy joes to burn in the Instant Pot while cooking. Finally, we're just gonna squirt a little ketchup in, seal the lid of our Instant Pot. We're gonna hit start and we're gonna cook on high pressure for about five minutes. And while your sloppy joes are cooking away in the Instant Pot, I love to toast some buns on my skillet. I just add a little bit of butter, then add the buns face down and cook for about two to three minutes until golden brown. It really just takes the sloppy joes to the next level and makes them absolutely incredible. After the sloppy joes have cooked on high pressure for five minutes, you're gonna want a natural release for about 10 minutes and then quick release the remaining pressure. Of course, be careful when you release the pressure because it's going to still have some steam. Give the sloppy joes a good stir and look at that cooked, saucy, not too saucy, but of course, definitely not dried out. We do not want dried out sloppy joes. And with that, this turkey sloppy joe recipe is complete. We're gonna just pile it on to our toasted buns and enjoy warm. So simple, so easy. This is a, like I said, total crowd pleaser, really easy. I love using the ground turkey instead of ground beef because it makes it just a little bit healthier, at least in my mind. You can serve the sloppy joes with some chips, potatoes, or macaroni, totally up to you. Thank you so much for watching. As always, the entire recipe will be linked down below. See you next time, bye-bye.